Hello everyone and welcome once again to another one of our daily devotionals and we have you in our prayers as we pray for a blessed new year as we continue to serve the Lord together. Before we begin, let's pray. Father, we just come before you, Lord, and we thank you. We thank you that we are entering a new year. Lord, we pray for the strength and the wisdom that comes to us through your spirit, that we can serve you, bless you, and honor you, and bring glory to you. In your most precious name we pray, amen. Well, speaking of the new year, my devotional today is going to reflect on that. It's a time of year when, when many of us give what we call New Year's resolutions. Personally, I'm not real big on, on doing that. However, this year the Lord has put something on my heart, something that we might call a resolution or we just might call it a, a commitment to Him. So I'd like to encourage you, perhaps, throughout this year to take part in this with me. And what, what it's called is Pray Big and Worry Small. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, Paul gives us a great exhortation as he said, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. So our setting for this morning's devotional comes from Luke chapter 10, verse 40. And here we see that Martha is distracted and frustrated with her sister Mary, who is sitting at the feet of Jesus, adoring him and worshiping him, instead of helping her with all of the preparations. And Martha has no problem with her frustrations. She goes to Jesus complaining and expressing her angst as a matter of fact, I can almost see her standing there, hands on hips, complaining to Jesus about her sister Mary. And Jesus lovingly and kindly responds to Martha, and he says, Oh, Martha, Martha, you worry about way too many things. By the way, this caused me to reflect back on when I was a young girl, and my mother called out to me, and if she had to say my name twice, I knew that I was in real trouble. I know many of you can probably relate to that. So yet, though this was a moment with uh, Jesus and Martha, it was a moment of correction. I also see that it was also a very tender, loving moment where Jesus uh, took Martha aside, encouraging her to have a more loving heart towards him and towards her sister Mary. Notice um, in this verse that Jesus didn't say, don't worry at all, Martha. No, he didn't say that. What he did say was, just don't worry too much. Jesus knew then, and he knows now. He knows that worthy of worry is part of our humanness. So I think that he gives us some leeway in that area. He wants us to channel these things in a more godly, in a more positive way. Like perhaps we could say that we are concerned rather than worry. We have that concern with the element of trust as our foundation, as our belief and our hope and our faith that we trust in our Lord. And scripture is, is full of um, areas that teach us on how we can do that. And there's one in particular in Psalm 56, uh, verse 3, that has touched my heart, where the psalmist was going through moments and times of fearfulness and anguish as he cries out to God and he says, Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you, O God. And so, yes, my friends, <clears throat> excuse me, we can pray big, and we can worry small. One of my favorite verses is in John chapter 16, verse 33. And it's a verse that the Lord will often recall to my remembrance when I start slipping more into being more Martha-like than Mary-like. Jesus says in those moments, I have told you these things 
so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have troubles, but take heed. Some versions say, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Yes, our God has overcome. He's overcome all of our fears, our concerns, our worries. He gives us his testimony in this chapter 16, as, as if he is saying, uh, it, we as believers, we can trust in him because he has already climbed the, that mountain. He's been there. He's done that. He's allowed himself to go through those same pains, those same uh, miseriness, feelings of loneliness, desertion, anguish, hurt, pain, and suffering. He's done all of that for us. He's done that at the cross. So my friends, we can pray big and we can worry small because God's got this. Join me in prayer, please. Father, we just come before you and we thank you, Lord, that it's you that we can turn to, you who are the author and finisher of our faith. We praise you, Father. We thank you. We give you all the glory. In your most precious name we pray. Amen. Goodbye now, my friends, and God bless you.